Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create a staking platform with multiple pools for any token or network. Now this is how the website looks. It can be customized and we have four staking pools. As you can see here, it is 7 days, 10 days, 32 days and 90 days. These can be changed in the smart contract uh, based on your project. And uh, I want to mention that I will be also giving the files for this project for free. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the description for the files link. Now here is the pools. These can be done for the same token but can also be used for different tokens. You can simply uh, change the names of the pools and if you have uh, multiple tokens on the same chain you can do each pool for each token because four of these are uh, deployed as separate uh, contracts. And uh, now we have the smart contract here the smart contract don't need to be edited when deployed all the information and the settings are set after the deployment so the first thing we do is we deploy the smart contract right away compile and deploy uh, we're gonna do this on uh, uh, polygon chain since the fees are uh, smaller but it works on any network then let's say we deployed the smart contract we go and edit the contract I have already deployed one this is the smart contract and the first thing we do is we initialize the contract here we add uh, the contract owner token address which will be staked APA rate uh, minimum staking amount I'm gonna set to zero max uh, starting date and stake ending date now this is set in seconds so for this you will need a calculator which we use to calculate uh, how many seconds we need so uh, we select seven days so we want to do a pool for seven days we uh, copy the seconds here and add to the smart contract i'm going to set to zero so we start right away and the end date is 600 thousand seconds okay and then we set staking days it's seven and the early unstake fee percentage um, we can set to 20 percent or something and simply click right make sure to connect your owner wallet and then you can this is probably not my owner wallet but this is how you uh, start the staking contract uh, after that we have here uh, a function to pause the staking okay so you can use this to pause the staking or restart it after that we have transfer ownership change the fees um, update the maximum and the minimum staking and update the staking end date after that you go to the uh, website files after you deployed and set up your contract copy the contract and go to the files you can use a uh, visual studio code that's what I use it's practical and then here we add the con our contract and token as you can see here are four contract addresses 
but I set the same for all of them since we are just testing so uh, any staking we do on any of these pools it will go to the same contract but in your case uh, if you are doing for multiple uh, tokens you deploy uh, a contract for each pool or al also if you want to do same as you see here different uh, staking periods and uh, after that you go here and you add as you can see here the first one is seven days then you add the second one third one and fourth one and then we add the ABI of the staking contract here and the token address token symbol token address and the token ABI make sure to change this based on your token you can uh, get the ABI of your token by simply going to the code um, looks like I don't have it verified it's weird I verified it but um, let me see Okay, I'm just going to use another token to show you how to get the ABI. Okay, you get the ABI by just going to the code and down here we have a contract ABI and copy and paste it on the Visual Studio code. Okay, after that you can simply just edit the text that shows here. These are, are easy to edit. And after you set everything up, you simply upload the files to your host. Now we're going to test uh, the staking contract, take some tokens. Uh, the first time it will usually ask to approve but I have already approved a uh, max amount we're gonna stake a hundred thousand and as because I staked before I see we have already the rewards to claim transaction confirmed and it tells you uh, the total stake tokens number of stakers and your staking amount and the uh, ending of the staking pool staking period now we can choose to withdraw we can withdraw an amount a small amount or all of them and uh, we can also withdraw the rewards anytime. I'm not going to withdraw this. I'm going to try to withdraw rewards. As I said, you can use this for multiple tokens as well like if you have four projects you name these let's say an example uh, USDT USDC DAI or whatever is your token and people will be able to stake different tokens on different pools and it will also show uh, different uh, statistics here because it's showing the same uh, since I have added the same smart contract to all of them 
okay so uh, this is it guys thank you for watching check the description to get the files for this project and see you next time